welcome back to another Archicad speed modeling quick coffee tip. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and join the ASM tech base email list for newsletters and future updates. In this quick tip, we look at the curtain wall and on how to slope the wall. As you can see, I got a flat pavement here sloping down nicely all the way down here. That's one meter difference, as you can see and it's flattening out again. And I'll show you how to nicely draw this curtain wall with the frames going along the slope. And additional, I like to show you quickly how to add a revolving door. You can add other doors, a panel, how to add some extra frames any way you want to. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I've got this simple model set up. Let's have a look in 3D. Um, it's sloping, as you can see, I've got my curtain wall and I got a panel at the bottom, which I, I have an aluminium panel and two panels here, just glass. So if I go to my curtain wall settings, I'll show you what I've set up. Just very simple. See, I've got a distinct panel at the bottom, applied aluminium to it, the same as I have my frames. You can change it to something different two main panels, which is the glass. Okay, very simple, and I just drew this around. I started from this side up here, the higher side. Okay, you can see this fits perfectly, and then it goes down. And as you can see, I dropped it by um, this one here is one meter. So I dropped it by one meter, so I'm starting pretty much here. So if I go down now, as you can see, this is one meter lower, that pavement. There you go, you got one meter here. Now that's the problem sometimes we have because how do we do now adjust all this? So what you can do is let's just select this curtain wall now, okay? And you hit the edit button. Okay, the edit button, now you can edit stuff here in the curtain wall. As example, let's go to the other side first. I move those ones down. In theory, I could say, okay, I could change this to glass, but I don't want to. I want this all the way down, just have a larger panel at the start, glass panel. So what you do is you select this, and you can see when I select one, I've got then the choice, go just hover that. There you go. I could select the whole line, or I can select all horizontal. So click on this one, I'll select all of them, they select it now, you can zoom in a bit, and all you have to do is you drag them down. Make sure it's on the same straight, you can hold shift or it will just um, snap, uh, snap to this. So I'm going down here and I click again. There you go. Let's undo this again. So all you have to do, go a bit closer, you click and you drag them down. Be careful, I want a bit too far, I want to go a bit higher up. There you go. So this side is fixed already. Now the other side here, the sloping side is obviously a bit harder. So what you have to do here is we go all the way up to the first one, which is fine. I'm quite happy with that. Maybe I should say this and just move it down a little bit. But then it disappears here. So let, let's just leave it for this. So what I do is there's two options. I can go and move those ones individual down. And just go this way. Okay, then they step down all the way. You construct it sometimes like this, that's not a problem. Don't have to do them all for now. Or you go back and you can actually select and you can move this one down. Watch this, if I go here, so that's now locked in on that side. So what I can do is I could go down and obviously go to the slope. See, now it's nice on the slope. Then you have to do the next one and you click and you move down and you go to the other side, click again and we slope it down. There you go, zoom out a little bit. That looks pretty nice actually. Let me do the other ones quickly. Okay, let's zoom out, as you can see. This looks actually really nice now, as you can see there's 
everything, all the bottom frame we got right nicely sloping down or the way around. So all is fixed. So that's the way you do this curtain wall sloping down to make it fit. Okay, let's go and have a look what we can do with the curtain wall if we add like a revolving door, add a couple of more of those frames and how we do that. So the best way to do it is, actually by the way you can see it's quite nice to work in 3D because also if you're not used to the curtain wall and you don't use it a lot, it's quite easy to see what is what as example, what's the frame. So all you do is if I turn this off, you can see that's the frame panels that's the panels so it is quite nice to see what is what if you're not sure and um, what to work with okay so let's go and add a revolving door let's say in here the first thing is you do is you just click here and then you can see it's selected you can click on this panel I've got it up here let's click in here and then we can choose from here the revolving door Okay, so we got this one. Let's have a look in 3D. The options we've got here and um, glazed frame or just glass. I like just glass. And all you do is just click OK. And there we go. So you got nice a row wall, a revolving door in here. That looks pretty cool and that wasn't very hard. Now, what you can do is obviously you can see by the way, this one down here, you have to select and just hit delete okay so that lower one here we just deleted that frame so now you can easily walk through that revolving door what else can we do we can add another one as a panel as example let's go here and you want to add at the top just some simple uh, there is a louver there you go have a look in 3d and there you go See, that is perfect. And you see there's a gap there. You can obviously adjust this. Let me have a quick look. And subframe 3D. And go this way. Okay, and I think here it looks like, yes, let's click on this one. Yep, yeah, that fixes it up. Don't have to go through all those settings. They're quite simple. And there you go. What is also nice, you can actually you can take the attributes with the picker here and then as always you can just go along here whoops and click them in there you go so that works also in 3d here and the next bit is actually quite nice too if i select now as example this frame here you can also use the multiply tool if i want another let's have a look let's put another one two three frames in here which i distribute so copies is three okay all we have to do is go here all the way down perfect okay and that's much easier done in 3d in edit mode of the curtain wall so you can see if you if you work around like this the curtain wall can be quite flexible actually and you can achieve a lot of good looking models using the curtain wall because to be honest what i just did now if you try to use a wall and then you add windows it will take you much longer and i think it's just more flexible to add stuff i mean that was quite easy to add this okay you can also add a frame just normal you can go and say okay let's just add a frame and all you do is let's go over here let's add one in the middle there and you click whoops there we go see and i can go over there i could go in a corner and i have a corner frame just do this again go down here beautiful so you can see you can get some extremely good looking curtain walls just like that customize that's what i like you know to your own design it doesn't have to be repetitive everywhere so Oh, and one more thing, the item you insert, they're actually connected. So if I go as example and select this one here now, those two, and I move them, you will see what happens to the revolving door. It keeps moving. Okay, so you go up high, it still stays round. 
but it's just wider now and gives you a bigger gap. So the same thing happened, of course, with the top one here, the louvers I inserted again, they're connected. So if I move that one there too, it will move with it. So I think again, that is actually quite nice and handy to use. All right, this is it. I hope you enjoyed this little quick tip and I see you back next time. Bye for now. Thank you.